drive which means six shifts of three hours each alternatively we could do it by mileage um, I put a map up there by the visor I marked all the places that we're going to change shifts you can do three hours pretzel no I, I don't like to eat between meals okay. <clears throat> I'll roll down the window I hope this isn't going to be one of those long trips with a lot of awkward silence. Me too. Why don't you tell me your entire life story? My life story? No, yeah, we got 18 hours to kill before we get to New York. My life story won't even get us out of Chicago. I mean, nothing's happened to me yet. That's why I'm going to New York. So something can happen to you? Yes. Like what? Like I'm going to go to, uh... Like I'm going to go to journalism school and become a reporter. So you can write about interesting things that happen to other people? That's one way of putting it. Suppose nothing happens to you. Suppose you live there your whole life, and nothing ever happens to you, and you never meet anybody, and never become anything, and you end up dying one of those New York deaths where nobody notices for two weeks until the smell starts drifting out into the hallway. Amanda mentioned you had a dark side. Yeah, that's what drew her to me. Your dark side? Yeah. Why, don't you have a dark side? Ah. I'm probably one of those cheerful people who dots her eyes with little hearts. I have as much of a dark side to me as the next person. Oh, really? When I buy a book, I read the last page first. That way, if I die before I finish the story, I know how it ends. That, my friend, is a dark side. That doesn't make you deep or anything. I mean, I'm a, I'm a generally happy person. So am I. And I don't feel that there's anything wrong with that. Of course you don't, because you're too busy being happy. Do you think about death? Yes. Sure you do. Little thoughts that flip through the transom of your mind. I spend hours, I spend days thinking about it. And you think that makes you a better person? Look, when the comes down, I'm going to be prepared and you're not. That's all I'm saying. And in the meantime, you're going to ruin your whole life just thinking about it. Why are you going to New York? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just graduated from law school. But I never really saw myself being a lawyer. I see it as more of a jumping off point. You should be a lawyer. The kind that does wills. I feel like you'd be really good at explaining to people that they're going to die. That might sound snobbish to you, but I don't. You'd rather have a passionless marriage. And be first lady of Czechoslovakia. Than live with the man who you've had the best sex of your life with just because he owns a bar and that's all he does? Yes. 
And so would every woman in her right mind. Women are very practical. <laughs> Even Ingrid Bergman, that's why she leaves on that plane at the end of the movie. Enough of you, Sheldon. Oh, oh, Sheldon, Sheldon, ah, oh, Sheldon. So, how come you broke up with Sheldon? How do you know we broke up? Because you're here with me. If you were still with him, you'd be with Sheldon the Wonder. First of all, I'm not here with you. And second of all, it's none of your business why we broke up. Yeah, you're right. It is none of my business. I mean, you know. If you must know, it was because he was very jealous and he had these days of the week under <laughs> Judges really. What are days of the week? the days of the week on them, I thought they were sort of funny. Anyway, one day he says to me, you never wear Sunday. And he got all suspicious. Where was Sunday? Where had I left Sunday? And I told him, but he didn't believe me. What? They don't make Sunday. Why not? Because of God. And that's why you broke up with him? Yes. How many men have you slept with? I'm not going to tell you. Fine, don't tell me. Two. Two? You're telling me based on two people that you know whether or not you've had good sex. How many of you? Oh. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Is it between zero and three, four and ten, ten and a hundred? Ten and a hundred. Is it closer to ten or closer to a hundred? give a girl a compliment just because it sounds like a come on? Okay, let's say for the sake of argument that it was a come on. What do you want me to do? I take it back. I take it back. You can't take it back. Why not? It's already out there. Oh, well, call E.G. What are we going to do about that? Call the cops? Hey! Hey, it's already out there. It's, just it's out there. It's already just, out there. Just let it lie, okay? Right, okay. So 
be honest, spend the night in the motel later. <laughs> See what I did? I didn't let it lie. Harry. I said I was going to, but then I didn't. Harry? I went the other direction. Harry. Yes. We are just going to be friends. 